Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. And today, we thought the markets will be stable. All over the world, markets have stabilized in the last few days. So we thought our market will also be stable. But to the surprise, the markets crashed like anything in the first few minutes. And Nifty fell almost 150 point in the morning itself. Then again started recovering and shot up nearly 150 point. Again fell 70, 80 point and again shot up to take the day's height. And at the end of the day, in the last one hour, Bank Nifty has fallen 500 points. So I was thinking, why this so much of volatility today? At the end of the day, I've seen uh, there was a huge turnover in cash market by the FIAs. And usually, FIA gross buy and gross sell should be around 10,000, 11,000 crore. The net sell may be 1,000 to 2,000 crore. Today, I found that FIA's net sell figure was only about 1,000 crore. But that does not tell you the real story. Look at the gross buying and gross selling. And the gross buying was 45,000 crore. Gross selling was... 46,000 crore. So, I don't think I have ever seen this kind of volume. 45,000 crore, which is almost how many millions? And it is four to five times more than the regular volume. And buying was also so huge, and selling was also very, very huge. And finally, their net sell figure is only 1,000 crore. The domestic institutions have actually bought more than that. But uh, this kind of volume at this point is very, very uh, surprising. Global queues also did not support. In the afternoon, European markets opened and mostly lower. But uh, UK was higher, but uh, other European markets were down mostly. Even the Dow future was down. Uh, Nasdaq future was, you know, uh, like sometime plus and sometime minus. But finally, that has also started coming down. The Eurozone inflation data came. So the inflation data, once again, totally disappointing. Uh, people expected 7.8%, but it came 8.1%. So that could be one reason why European markets were reacting on the downside but our fall in the last one hour uh, it's totally unexpected and in fact uh, I thought there will be some kind of jittery ahead of GDP data and other things but did not expect such a violent move and in fact at 2 p.m. again and 2.30 p.m. I sold 35,800 call as well as put and put some stop loss both the sides at the downside stop loss was hit and upside there was a huge profit uh, the profit is much more than the stop loss kept on the downside so it makes sense to do some straddle after 2 p.m because the markets move violently on the downside or on the upside after 2 p.m Mostly, it, uh, it is on the downside. So, anyway, a close to close basis, uh, markets did not fall much. Nifty is just about 75, 80 points. But uh, the bank Nifty, look at the Kotak Bank. A uh, Kotak Bank has fallen more than 100 rupees from yesterday's high to today's low. In fact, 120 points to be precisely. And 120 point is how many in terms of percentage? More than 5%. And same thing with others also. HDFC, HDFC Bank all underperformed today. And uh, overall the bank Nifty has underperformed. Because the fall came only in the last hour, 
okay uh, because of the weighted average close the nifty as well as bank nifty uh, both are showing a slightly higher close whereas the actual close is well below i think bank nifty actual close is uh, about 100 point lower than what nse site is showing uh, the global queues we have to see because the us markets were also higher uh, significantly for the last three trading session so we have to see how it opens and after the market hours our gdp data came uh, i think which is in line with expectation there's nothing surprise and core sector growth was very good and uh, i don't think that uh, we are going to react uh, to any of these uh, numbers and uh, what is more important is the global queues and looking at the open interest uh, though markets were very very volatile two time tried to uh, test 16500 on the downside but it closed higher as i'm away uh, for a marriage function so this is a recorded audio let us hope tomorrow nifty holds 16500 and there was a huge volatility but the nifty took support around 16500 but more worrying factor is the bank nifty and bank nifty has uh, made a huge move uh, of more than 500 point in last one hour so that is uh, really a cause of concern uh, maybe we thought you know because of this gdp data and other things markets would have been a jittery so let us hope tomorrow everything becomes all right as of uh, open interest is concerned still 16 5 16 4 they're all good at some point of time even 16 6 was uh, having high open interest and of course on the way down people would have sold some call options to uh, manage the loss in the put option let us see what happens tomorrow hope you enjoyed listening to this audio thank you for listening